Dororo is an anime that started airing at the start of this year. At the time of recording this, there's seven episodes out. I've watched all of them so far, and all I can say is that I am loving this anime. But before we get into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to the anime man. He did a great video on Dororo when it first started airing, and that video got me watching it. He talks about the author as well as the original anime and stuff like that. So we definitely check out that video and his channel, I'll link in the description. So in case you have no idea what Dororo is or what it's about, I'll just cover the basics of what it's about. But now I'm not going to go that deep into depth because I feel like it'd be more enjoyable to find out by watching it yourself. So Dororo is a manga series that was written by Osama Tezuka. This anime is a re-adaptation of the original anime that came out in 1969. So let's get into what Dororo is about. We have this guy called Daigo Kagemitsu who is the Lord of Ishikawa. He makes a deal with 12 demons. There's currently a famine going on as well as a war and he wants to be able to protect his land and rule the country. In return he'll get the demons anything they want from him and as a result they decide to take from his newly born son they take the majority of his body parts he has new skin eyes nose he can't hear or speak yet somehow he's still alive kagemitsu just gives him to a lady to basically drown him he says to his wife that he wouldn't survive anyway and that they'll have another child that'll be his heir and instead of just drowning it this lady decides to let him love and as a result he's found by a man who gives prosthetics to people who need them and also people who've died and basically raises Hyakimaru and he teaches him how to fight as well as giving him his swords and prosthetics. So the story revolves around Hyakimaru killing these demons and each time he does he gets a body part back or some of his senses like a leg, the ability to hear or speak. It's pretty simple but it's fine I honestly have no problem with the simplicity of it because once you start watching and become invested in his character it makes you really happy for him that he's getting these things back and that's what I'm really looking forward to for the rest of the series and seeing how his character develops develops along the way as he gets more things back and also how he has a relationship with Dororo will develop. Dororo is a character we meet at the end of episode 1 and they've been together ever since. For now Dororo is essentially talking to a brick wall because Hyakimaru doesn't talk and a lot of comedy comes from that. Dororo is constantly trying to get some form of response from him and basically gets nothing for the most part but when he does it's so damn good. This is a character who never speaks or shows much emotion but when he does it's great. An example of that that would be the end of episode 7. I love their relationship. I'd say you'll definitely take a liking to these characters and they'll become the precious and must be protected at all cost type of characters. Hyakimaru is what you'd call a best boy and Dororo is just too damn cute. And I will say that if you do get invested in these characters, the emotional moments will definitely hit hard without spoiling it. All I'll say is the end of episode 6 is probably one of my favourite scenes if not my favourite. But the only way I can describe it is that one shot of Obito from Naruto Shippuden with his hands pointing towards the hole where his heart should be. That's all I'll say. Now throughout the episodes there is a bunch of action with demons. Just seeing Hyakimaru flip about and slice up demons with his swords it's so good. I've really liked all the action so far and of course can't wait to see more of it as the series goes on. As well as having great action there's also some really interesting characters in the show so far. Some with really dark and interesting backstories as well as some of the decisions they make. You think oh they're that type of character but actually they're not. Some some are really likeable, some you'll hate, and some are just straight up creepy. And of course, since we're only 7 episodes and there's a bunch of characters we haven't met yet, so I'm looking forward to that. In general, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to and curious about, like what'll happen if Hyakimaru ever meets up with his family, how it'll end when he's killed all the demons, what'll happen to some of the main characters. Now other things are worth mentioning is that I do consider this to be a kind of dark and mature anime. It's very gory, very brutal at times, and I would admit that there was a scene or two that for me were kind of hard to watch and it involves a character called Mio, but I won't get too into that. Besides that, I really like the opening and ending song. The opening is by Queen Bee, the band that did the first ending song in Tokyo Gori, which is a really good song. And so is this, I really like it and I love the instrumental part that kicks in when Hyakimaru is just cutting up people. The ending is by Amazarishi, hopefully I actually pronounced that right. An artist who also did music for Tokyo Ghoul, they did the ending song for season 2. Also a great song and this one really fits the tune of the series really well. Sayonara, 
I'll leave links to both of those songs in the description if you want to give them a listen. Anyway, I'm really loving Dorota so far and would definitely recommend checking it out. If you're already watching it, feel free to let me know what you think of it and if there's any anime that came out recently that you would recommend, let me know and I will definitely check them out. I know a lot of people are really liking The Promised Neverland, I haven't got around to watching it yet, but I think I will soon because it looks like something I might enjoy and there is that one edgy emo character who is basically me. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.